information about the victim of yesterday's shooting in the parking lot of a downtown Rouses. Loved ones tell us that he was comedian Brandon Boogie B. Montrell. The family's attorney Juan LaFonta confirmed the identity of the 43 year old internet personality, even though the Orleans Parish coroner has not yet revealed his ID to the public. Montrell was most known for his comedy skits and videos on TikTok and Instagram. The NOPD says that Montrell was not the intended target while he was just simply parked at the Rouse's grocery store in the warehouse district around four o'clock yesterday afternoon. Police have released photos of two suspects seen right here on your screen. They are considered armed and dangerous and are wanted in connection with Montreal's death. Police say that the two unidentified suspects fled the scene in a gray or silver sedan also pictured right there on your screen. Now, police also say that they're looking for a person of interest for questioning Dominique Smith, who is pictured right here on your screen, is not wanted for criminal charges, but may have information related to the death of Brandon Montrell. Anyone with information on the suspects, the vehicle or the person of interest is asked to contact either the NOPD or Crime Stoppers. Now, Montrell's tragic death is hitting those in the community who knew him well. I spoke with local content creators who know who now mourn the loss of one of their own. For those who knew 43 year old Brandon Montrell, the past few days have been spent honoring his legacy through his work, like the hit song Catch the Wall that he made with his cousin or his numerous comedy acts. Just thinking about all the talent, all the ideas he had that he wanted to bring into existence, not being able to happen just got me kind of like all over the place. It's just I'm still processing a lot, to be honest with you. Reggie Ford saw Montrell as a fellow content creator. He was devastated hearing that he was shot and killed Friday in the parking lot of Arousis after flying into town from Los Angeles to spend the holidays with loved ones. I just remember just being stunned. Like, I couldn't believe it happened. Still, like, the safest grocery store in the city. He says they would often message one another, especially about his TikTok series, Hood History. Well, come here, let me stress you out right fast with this New Orleans Hood History lesson on the Christmas tradition in New Orleans called Revion Dinner. Which would give a comedic tone to New Orleans' past. Those videos helped grow his profile to more than 2 million likes and 225,000 followers. And many TikTok users like Creole Queen posted their own tributes online. I just want to tell um, Boogie B that I was really uh, loving your videos. But he found a way to make people engage with New Orleans history that's outside of New Orleans and deliver it in a tasteful way. Through family attorney Juan LaFonta, his mother Sherilyn Price released a statement saying her son was a victim of neglect that has quote, left New Orleans' youth with no hope for a future and no real fear of consequences. A sentiment echoed by Ford. Just, I just hope everybody just use some conflict resolution to solve some of these problems and the politicians start implementing things in these neighborhoods for the kids to do and resources so people just want to act out, you know, that's living in these impoverished conditions. Until then, those who knew him personally or were fans of his work mourned the loss of someone who brought joy to New Orleans and beyond. I think it's a major loss. I don't think it'll ever be anybody that could do what he was doing. And I feel so sorry for his family and us, his fans. Rest in power, Boogie B. Again, if you have any information, please contact either the NOPD or leave an anonymous tip with Crime Stop.